I mean, there are hundreds of thousands of things that go on here at the stadium that we really never know about. And I've done my research. I'm, I'm not an expert by any means, but it all leads us to a segment that I call Ask Bob. You ready now? Here's the first question. Hey, Bob, how do they get that grass so green? I hear they paint it. Well, just take one look at how green the grass is here at Fulton County Stadium. Well, the answer to that is, yes, there are those who believe that Ed Mangan keeps the grass green by, watch this, painting it or spray painting it. But I got to tell you, that is not the truth. No, we don't paint it. What they usually sing is when I'm running this spray rig here is uh, some of the chemicals that I use in liquid form. When they come through the sprayer, they are basically clear. In order to see the actual spray pattern where I'm going, there's going to be a tracker what we call a tracker mixed in the tank. It's a blue dye. So it's the blue dye that we're seeing sprayed down, not green paint. Yes. Hey, Bob, which one of the Braves gets the most fan mail? Paul, you're in charge of sorting all the mail that comes here? Yes, sir. Who would you say gets the most mail of, out of all the Braves? Uh, David Justice and Ronnie Gant mm -hmm. and Tom Glavin. Hey, Bob, are those baseballs really brand new? Well, the answer to that question is actually the baseballs are new. But the thing is, the Braves don't want them to look new. It's actually assistant equipment manager Casey Stevenson who takes a small amount of Delaware River mud and rubs it on between 72 and 90 new baseballs before each home game. That takes the shine off the balls and gives them a small amount of grip. Hey, Bob, out of all the players, whose uniform gets the dirtiest? The answer to that question, who gets their uniforms the dirtiest? Well, actually, there are two people who are the worst, and that is... Damon Berryhill and Greg Olson, of course, that's because they're always rocking back on their feet. It's Ray Keum, a mortgage banker by day, uniform washer by night, who's in charge of washing the Braves' uniforms. And what's he used to clean the uniforms? Would you believe Amway products? Amway. Believe it or not, Amway. And also, we should tell you that in addition to the catchers, Berryhill and Olson, uh, Ron Gant also has been getting his uh, uniform extremely dirty because of, <laughs> and also Otis Nixon, uh, as they've been sliding quite a bit in the recent weeks. That's okay, what I'm talking about. I've got one for you. Yeah? Hey, Bob, how many seats are broken in the stadium every night? Cynthia, glad you asked that question. <laughs> Actually, there are between, depending upon how excited the crowd gets, there are between two and ten seats broken every night. But when the Braves lose, and if it's a close game and they lost, like they did a couple of uh, weeks ago, there were close to 250 seats broken in one night. Amazing, Bob. It's amazing. As usual, John and Terry, he never ceases to come up with the unusual. <laughs> Ask Bob. Fun facts to know and tell. Thank the you, answer Ken. man.